Hey there! Today's video is going to be a Pixar Fest one. It is inspired by the Pixar cake that you can get at the Plaza Inn. It's a three layered cake and you're going to need two batches of my vanilla cake recipe. I will leave everything down below. One layer is blue velvet, another one is red velvet, and the last one is a lemon layer. And it's covered with cream cheese frosting. It has some whipped cream on top and then has a little Pixar ball decorations. Everything you need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this. We're going to start by dividing our batter into three different bowls. You can use my recipe, which I'll leave in the description box, or you can use any that you like. I just evenly distributed this. And then to one portion, I added a tablespoon of cocoa powder and some red food dye. We're making the red velvet layer and just combine this all well. And then put it aside. And then for the lemon layer, I got the zest of one lemon, added that to the batter. Cut it up and add it about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of lemon juice. Depends on how much you want. And then added a little bit of yellow food gel to this as well and combined it all well and then put it aside. And finally for our blue velvet one, I did some blue food coloring, mixed it well, added about two to three teaspoons of cocoa powder so I could get a rich dark blue velvet for this. And three teaspoons is about a tablespoon. So you can do the two teaspoons or you can do the three teaspoons, which is a tablespoon, and then put it aside. And then get your three nine inch pans, butter them and line them with parchment paper. Or you can use flour for this as well. So just butter the top and bottom of that parchment paper. And then add in your batters. I added my red velvet to this. Spread it evenly in the pan and then gave it a couple taps and put it aside. You can also set your oven at 350 degrees for these. Let it preheat while you pour these out to your cake pans. And then here I'm pouring out my blue velvet. Gave it a couple taps as well. Don't mind my dirty hands. And then put that aside. And finally your lemon batter. Pour that into the cake pan. Couple taps for that one as well. And then we're gonna bake those. And while those bake for about 30 minutes, you're gonna want red, blue, yellow fondant, a large circle cutter. You're not really gonna need that small one. And a star cutter. We're gonna start by rolling out our yellow fondant. And with that large cutter, just cut out some circular fondant discs. I did about 12 just in case I needed an extra or one broke, or I wanted one that looks a little better than the other. Once those are punched out, roll out your red fondant, and this is going to be for the stars. So again, punch out 12 of those and then put them aside. And then finally your blue fondant, roll that out, and with that large cutter again, just cut out a circle, but we're going to do a crescent off of the circle, and then trim off a crescent of the yellow circle as well, and we're going to replace the blue one where the yellow one was to make that little Pixar ball design and then add your red star on top. Let it harden up a bit before you put some clear vanilla extract on here. You want a high alcohol content for this since it'll dry faster. So I just put a little bit on the back of the star and glue that on top and then I added a little bit to that crease between the blue crescent and the yellow. And then we're gonna level off our cakes after they've had plenty of time to cool. So I'm just taking off the little belly of each cake. Save the scraps, you can snack on those or make cake pops with those. And then I took the caramelization off of the bottom because when we form this cake, I want it to be clean and you can clearly see the colors and there's no caramelization. And then I took the edges off as well. I got an eight inch cake board so I can trim the edges with this. If you have a large enough cookie cutter or circle cutter, you can use that, but I didn't, so I used a cake board and just trimmed these edges off, and there's one layer. And just repeat this with your yellow and red. Cut the belly off, cut the caramelization off, cut the edge off, and then we're gonna start forming our cake. So for this cake, they use cream cheese frosting. I will leave my recipe down below. I'm gonna start with my red layer, add some cream cheese there, spread it evenly, and then add the blue layer, spread another good amount of cream cheese frosting on there, and then finally that yellow layer, and then we're gonna do a crumb coat with this cream cheese frosting, and then stick it in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes just to allow the frosting to harden, and then we're gonna do a final frosting on this. And then I got some red, white, and blue sprinkles because they use these uh, as decorations on the bottom of the cake. So while the cake is still fresh and frosted, add those sprinkles on. And then for the decorations on top, 
You can use some whipped cream or buttercream, whatever you have, dye it yellow, and do these little swirls on top. And then finally the decoration of the Pixar ball, just add those on top of the yellow swirls. And that's it! That's how you make this Pixar cake. I as well plated it with, with a little bit of raspberry as they do at the parks. So I just put a dollop of raspberry and spread that on and then served my slice on top of it. As you can see here, you can see the inside of the cake, you see those Pixar colors. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to suggest another Pixar Fist treat, leave it in the comments down below. If you want to see pictures of this cake and everything I make, I post on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and all those links are down below as well. If you've gone to Pixar Fest and will leave a suggestion for another treat, leave it in the comments down below. If you make this cake or any Pixar treats that I've done, or Disney treats, tag me in your pictures, I'd love to see it. And until next time, stay sweet.